Another day, another book review. Welcome back to Book Stuff, the show where we take a deep dive into some of the most fascinating and influential books out there. Today, we're exploring Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow, by Yuval Noah Harari a thought-provoking book that delves into the future of humanity and its potential transformation. So, buckle up, and let's get started. The Rise of Homo Deus In Homo Deus, Harari discusses how humanity has made incredible progress in recent centuries, conquering famine, plague, and war. With these achievements, humans have transformed themselves from Homo sapiens into Homo Deus, beings with godlike powers. But what does it mean to be a Homo Deus? Well, Harari suggests that it is the ability to control and manipulate the world around us to an unprecedented degree shaping not only our environment but also our own biology. As we acquire these abilities, we should also consider the ethical implications and challenges that come with them. The Data Religion One of the key ideas in Homo Deus is the rise of datism a new religion that worships data and sees it as the ultimate source of meaning and value. Dataism holds that everything can be reduced to data flows, and it's this information processing that gives life meaning. According to Harari, dataism will play a critical role in humanity's future, as algorithms and artificial intelligence become increasingly sophisticated and integrated into our lives. As we become more reliant on data, we'll need to confront the ethical implications and potential pitfalls of a world ruled by data and algorithms. Human irrelevance As we advance technologically, Harari raises the possibility that humans might become irrelevant in the future. With AI and automation taking over many jobs and even outperforming humans in decision-making, Homo Deus may be replaced by non-conscious algorithms. This raises questions about the value of human life and the role we play in the world. If machines can do everything better than us, what is left for humans to do? Will we become obsolete, or will we find new ways to coexist with our technological creations? Harari encourages us to think about these questions as we move into an uncertain future. Upgrading Humans Harari also explores the idea that humans will pursue upgrading themselves through genetic engineering, brain-computer interfaces, and other technologies. The goal? To enhance our cognitive, physical, and emotional abilities, and perhaps even attain immortality. However, this pursuit of self-improvement might lead to a world where only the rich can afford these enhancements, widening the gap between the enhanced and non-enhanced humans. This raises further ethical questions about the distribution of resources and the potential for a new form of inequality to emerge. Ethical Considerations as we forge ahead into this brave new world, Homo Deus raises important ethical questions. What are the consequences of manipulating our own biology? How do we ensure that these advancements benefit everyone, not just a privileged few? And, 
as we create increasingly intelligent AI? Should we grant rights to these new forms of life? Harari doesn't claim to have all the answers, but he encourages us to think deeply about these questions as we shape our future. By considering the ethical implications of our actions, we can strive to create a more just and equitable world for all. The End of Humanism Harari points out that the rise of dataism and the increasing power of technology could lead to the decline of humanism, the belief in the unique value and centrality of human beings. As we become more interconnected with machines and rely on algorithms to make decisions, the emphasis on human experience and emotions may diminish. We should ask ourselves if we're prepared to relinquish our central role in the world, and what that could mean for our society and culture. Can we strike a balance between progress and maintaining our humanity? These are crucial questions that we must ponder as we move forward. The Future of Religion and Spirituality as we progress into the age of Homo Deus, Harari also explores the future of religion and spirituality. With dataism on the rise, traditional religious beliefs may become less relevant or even replaced by new forms of spirituality centered around data and technology. The role of religion in society and its influence on our moral and ethical choices will continue to evolve. We should consider how these changes might impact our collective values and the way we understand our place in the universe. Politics in the Age of Homo Deus In Homo Deus, Harari also delves into the potential political implications of these changes. As technology advances, it's possible that we'll see a shift in power dynamics, with AI and algorithms playing a more significant role in decision-making processes. This could lead to a redefinition of democracy and the nature of political systems. Will we trust AI to make decisions for us? And if so, how can we ensure that these systems are fair and unbiased? These are critical questions we must address as we navigate the political landscape of the future. Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow by Yuval Noah Harari is a fascinating exploration of the future of humanity. It challenges us to confront the ethical dilemmas and existential questions that arise as we move towards a world of God-like powers and potential irrelevance. If you're interested in understanding the possible trajectory of our species and what it means for us as individuals and as a society, I highly recommend picking up a copy of this book. We hope this summary has given you a better understanding of the book's key ideas and has sparked your interest in the future of humanity. As always, we encourage you to read the full book for a more in-depth analysis of these concepts. If you've read Homo Deus, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful book summaries. Next week, We'll be diving into another thought-provoking book that will challenge your assumptions and expand your horizons. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.